Well, I should have filmed this. Uh, got out here this morning with the Axiom, started hunting some of these piles, and I got this signal that was deep and loud, and I almost thought, oh, I'm going to pass that up because it sounds like junk. Well, well, hey, everybody. Today I'm out on the desert doing some gold hunting, and what I've got with me today is the Mine Lab Manicore with the M8 coil and the Axiom. And I'm running a 7 by 11 double D on it, probably most of the trip. I'm uh, going to use the going to use the Axiom in these open areas, and when I get into trashy areas, switch over to the Manicore so that I've got some discrimination. But hopefully, can find some gold out here. Going to spend two full days and part of a third. I don't know how long I'll stay the third day. Just depends on what gold we're finding. But let's get out there and see if we can find some gold. All right, I've got a target right here. It's in a old scrape pile. Well, they've like a test pile, I guess you'd say. Could be a big piece of garbage though. All right, I got it in my hand. I think it's a bullet. That's it, piece of lead. I don't necessarily, the headphones for the, that come with the Garrett, don't, I don't necessarily like them. They feel, they sound a little muted to me, so, but you can buy their WR1 receiver and put your own headphones in. And so I've got Killer B headphones that I put on mine. So you've got that option if you don't like the headphones that it comes with. Um, at some point, they may offer a package that doesn't have the headphones, and you can choose whatever you want. All right, I've got a target here. It's got headphones on, so I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a it's a low, t or I mean a high tone. So let's uh, try digging that up. See what we got here. It's out. See if that's it. Okay, so I've got it. It's in this grass, so chances are it's not going to be good. on this grass probably end up well there it is right there piece of copper wire so anyway got to dig the bad with the good but that was still a in my opinion a good target because it's copper so not iron i'm um, gonna go through the menu here real quick so it's real nice to have all these functions at your fingertips unlike like the 5000 or the 4500 which i like to kind of compare this to um, I think it's better on small gold in, in most cases, and it actually keeps up with it on the bigger items as well from the testing that I've done. Now, that's going to depend on your soil type, but for the types of ground I hunt, I think it's pretty dang comparable and better in a lot of cases. But the thing I really like about this is the fact that you got wireless headphones, you've got a battery that's built in that you can charge, and you've got all your operations at your fingertips here so we'll go over those real quick you got your ground balance you just hold that pump the coil you've got your threshold you can adjust up or down i've got mine at 12 right now um sensitivity you run up or down here i'm running at five right now because six is a little bit noisy i oftentimes like to run it at six if i can but i can't right now and then you got your volume which i'm 
running 15 because I've got headphones on. And then if you want to get back to your main screen, you just hit operate. And under the menu, you've got, um, well, let's go back to the first. We got mode. I'm running fine right now because I'm hunting gold. If I was hunting like relics or maybe at the beach, I'd use one of these other modes. Uh, if you need to do a frequency scan, you can go there, push the up or down arrow here, and it'll do a frequency scan under tone. Right now, um, I'm in the tone that sounds a lot like a GPX. And if you want to adjust the tone, you can push your upper arrow key, and it will adjust that uh, tones so that you can adjust it as to so that you can adjust it to a level that's best for your hearing. Um, 60 seems good for me. And then the next one down, you've got audio. So one is typical like GPX type audio. If you want to change to like what the uh, Infinium or the ATX sounded like, or sounds like, you can push the up or down arrow key. It'll change it to that audio type. And I actually kind of like it. Um, I think the threshold to me is a little more like steady, not as wavery, but that might just be my hearing type. So I'm going to leave it there. And then you've got your headphones where you can connect wirelessly, your backlight, and your ground tracking if you want to use it. You've got small, slow, medium, and fast. So to get back to your main screen, you just help operate. All right, I got a target right here. the axiom sounding pretty promising There somewhere. someplace not seeing anything yet That's gold right there. Yep. There you go, a piece of gold with the axiom. Nice. Probably two tenths of a gram. So I've got a target here. I wanted to show you the different types of audio and how they sound. Um, so this is the audio like the Infinium used to give. Discontinue now. ATX sounds the same way. And then if you wanted to change the audio, um, you can just go to your menu, get over to audio, and push the up or down arrow key, go to operate, and then here's more like our traditional GPX sound. Okay, I got a target here with the axiom. I'm down pretty far, so I thought maybe I better start filming at this point. I had to go grab a shovel. Grab a shovel to finish off this hole. Alright. In my hand. Yeah. So, just a 22 bullet, looks like. That was pretty deep for a. 22 bullet though, but anyway, that's what it is. You just never know. 
Okay, I already dug a hole here, but um, figure I better maybe film this just in case it's gold. I already got it out. All right. In my hand. In my hand. In my hand. I mean in the scoop, sorry, now it's in my hand. Telling you the wrong thing the whole time there, but it's in my scoop. What's that? That looks like lead. That's it, but yeah, that's a piece of lead. Well, I should have filmed this. Uh, got out here this morning with the Axiom, started hunting some of these piles, and I got this signal that was deep and loud, and I almost thought, oh, I'm gonna pass that up because it sounds like junk. Well, turns out it's not junk. It's a fairly nice nugget. Look at that in the sun. I mean, that is a beauty. That's gotta be a two gram or at least boy that thing's a beauty well that is the second nugget for the axiom this trip and i am real really liking that well, that is nice beautiful nugget okay i got another uh target out of this Kind of deep hole here after finding that last big one i figure i better film this part so it's out and i mean honestly it could be a piece of trash but we've got something over there too but all right now we got it So that's a piece of brass. That's why it sounded so good. Looks like maybe the end of a, like an electrical fitting or something, electrical fitting or something like that. So, all right, well, that's going to wrap it up. It was a fun time out here. Um, let me get the gold out, show you what I found. All right, so here's the, we got the wind blowing on the scale. So it's affecting a little bit, but here's the smaller nugget. Weighing it out of the wind, it's about one, it's a point, about 0.16. So this wind's really affecting the scale. And then the bigger one was 4.1, but yeah, the wind might be affecting that a little bit too, but 4.1 grams basically. All right, so it was a fun time. I found some good gold and hopefully I can get out here again in the near future, maybe the next month or so. Spring's starting to come around. It's getting warmer. Um, just need to find a period where there's not a lot of rain and try to get it back out here and see if we can find some more gold. So until next time, thanks for watching.